What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brown walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we uh, went back to the Haunted Forest to take care of a little business right there. We got a Poke Flute. Um, off screen, I did try out the whole uh, missing no uh, cheat thing, and it, yeah, it, yeah, you take off the, uh, the the virus scanner and all that stuff. It still doesn't maximize your your item. So I think that was just a you know a little hoax right there. Comment down below if I'm mistaken or whatnot. But here we are in Castro Valley, and now it is time for us to go straight to the Pokemon Gym. Uh, let's see. Talk to this. Let's see. This is the Castro Valley Pokemon Gym. The leader is Koji. And yes, he is. Uh, well, I guess he. Oh, crud baskets. Okay, so never mind. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. Okay, so. Apparently. Let's see, let's talk to this guy. Yo, champ in the making. Uh, Castro Valley's gym has a gym leader, Koji. Koji only uses fighting type Pokemon. Can't find Koji? Here's a hint. He's the one surround. He's a surrounded one. So I'm only assuming it's this guy right here. Okay, so since they're using fighting type Pokemon, I brought in Mega Con, but I don't think I need to use them right here. So let's go right ahead and. Yeah, let's go right ahead and battle some Pokemon trainers right here. So, I'm the gym leader. <laughs> Tricked you. Okay, so, yeah, we're taking on some fighting type Pokemon right here. And this guy's coming out with his Machoke at level 32. Ultra Psycho, ready to kick some butt, take some names. Let's go, Psybeam, or Psy, yeah, Psybeam for the win. And, yes, Machoke defeated. Feeling good about that. Come on, let's go bring another, bring another one right here. And well, let's go right ahead and use another side beam for the win. And wow, this Machoke survives and it's confused. Finally, the table has turned. Eat it, Machoke. Yeah, that's right. It doesn't feel so good when you're confused, right? That's right. Okay, so we've defeated this guy right here. And, well, it looks like this is going to be a place for both Ultra Psycho and Hurricane. So let's just go ahead and just, let's, let's, let's just do this. Let's just kick some butt, take some names. Let's just show the gym leader. Let's show the gym leader that, well, <laughs> what he's working with. So here we go. He's coming out with a Tauros. Holy crud. Okay, so never mind. We are taking on a Tauros right here. Let's go ahead and switch it out right here. Let's go straight to Bruce Lee. Yep. Yeah. And, well, he's using a tackle attack. Now, Tauros does have a high attack right here. And, well, there we go. Double kick. Oh, yes. Double kick is going to go well for this one. And gravy. Let's go ahead and, well, there's a stomp attack. That hits us pretty hard. That was a critical hit. Good gravy. Okay. Let's go. Um, yeah, let's go for uh, Megacon right here. It is faster because we do have Comet Punch right here. And crap, this guy is hitting us with everything he's got. Look at that. There we go. Okay, so Hurricane grows to level 27, and Megacon is doing its thing. Now, here comes a Gligar. Now, this is something new right here. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's go with Ultra Psycho right here. So, here we go. Gligar, it's a, uh, I guess it's shiny because it's blue. I don't know. Alrighty, let's go. Side beam. Maximum effort for the win. And well, there goes Gligar. And well, let's see, he's coming out with a macho, so let's go right ahead and do it again. And Psybeam does it. For the win. Say goodbye to Macho. <laughs> Oh, yes. Okay, so that's two. We got to revive our Pokemon because, uh, yeah, that, that that's no business right there, having fainted Pokemon. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and heal our Pokemon yet again. So we got two Hyper Potions. Give one to Megacon. And let's give another one to our good old buddy Bruce Lee right here because Bruce Lee has been such a sport. And one guy has deceived us with this, with this whole fighting type capability stuff. So let's go right ahead and continue on right here. Stop right there. Hmm. Stop right there. 
Alright, Tamer, you want a battle? You're gonna get a battle, and, well, they had to pick the worst sprite for Primeape right here. So let's go and crud. This guy is going, well, Primeapes are fast. It's one thing you can actually, you're gonna count on, and here we go, Fly Attack. Does its thing, and let's finish this guy off. Oh wow, Karate Chop. Hits us pretty hard, good gravy. Alright. That does not work. How does not, okay. Okay, flying and wind types are two different things. I. Holy crud. This guy. Alright. You mess with the. Uh, you mess with the family right here. Let's go. Double kick in. Wow, this guy is going to continue doing the uh, karate chop. It's a critical hit yet again. Good crud. Oh god. Okay. There we go. And look at that. We defeated this guy. So he's coming out with another primate. So let's go straight for an ultra psycho because I am sick and tired of this guy just, you know, messing with us with these karate chops. So here we go. Psy beam. Finish him. And there goes primate. I am feeling happy for myself. Yes. And ultra psycho grows to level 31 and is trying to learn recover. Let's go ahead and give it a uh, recover. Let's take away teleport. We don't really need it anymore. And uh, there you go, recover for the win. And well, he's got it. All right, let's go off screen and heal up our Pokemon and buy some new items because this is ridiculous. Seriously, it is. I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. So here I am back in the flesh and ready to kick some more butt right here. So let's go right ahead and use Hurricane still. I'm still trying to figure out the difference between a flying and wind type Pokemon. So if you guys can comment down below and explain this to me, uh, that would be great. I mean, again, first time playing this game. Come on, please help me out. And how are Mankey faster than my Hurricane? I, I just want to know that. So here comes a Focus Energy. And well, we're going to go with a Fly Attack. Come on, finish him. God dang it. Quick Attack right here. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're going to be cussing up a storm if we don't get this stuff in. Well, let's see what Primate can do. You know what? Let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's go to Ultra Psycho because we do not want to risk this whole thing. So here we go. Ultra Psycho, what's up? And let's go for a Psybeam attack. Oh, yeah. Say goodbye to Primate. Oh, yeah. Koji doesn't know what's coming. Koji doesn't know what's coming, and this guy has balls. Alright, fighting Pokemon are the best! I would agree, because I got myself a Hitmonlee. That guy is a badass. Kinda sucks that you don't know how to use him right. So, here we go, going up against Machoke again. And, well, let's go flying. Now... Hmm... What should I say, guys? Summer hacks have been pretty good, and this guy's withdrawing? Oh, come on, you suck. Here we go, you're picking out the same Pokemon. So the summer of hacks right here guys, awesome, doing great, and you guys have loving it, and well, let's see, what else can I say about the summer of hacks is that, you know what, we are planning on getting both Pokemon Unova Red and Pokemon Brown done early by, well, by the end of the July right here, as many of you guys already know, July happens to be my birthday month, turning the big 3-1, yes I know, I'm getting a little too old for this, but guess what, I love it. Still want to do it. Never too old to do what you love, guys. And, well, what am I saying right here is that, you know, eventually, once we get uh, done with these whole hack games and stuff, we're going to go back to our regular schedule of picking out some pretty good games, too. Um, I don't want to say that, you know, playing Unova Red, Pokemon Brown, eventually the Crystal Clear version, depending on when I drop this whole episode, uh... And everything else, like, it has been a very good experience. It's not super long. I mean, it really isn't super long, so I'm actually very, very grateful for that one right there. It's just, damn, like a nice experience right here. And, well, hopefully later on, like, in the future, we could have some more hat games out there. I know that there are a lot more that you guys want me to bring out. Uh, well, 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 we're going to have to take our time just to see what, like, you know, what comes out and stuff. I have my eye on Pokemon Orange. If you guys can send me that, that would be a great one. And here we have the last one. Strength is our number one strategy. Okay, alrighty. 
Let's assert our dominance and beat this guy. And this guy is coming out with a hit on top. Holy crud. This is a first right here. Let's go straight for a... Let's go. Let's see. Let's go right ahead and uh, let's see. Fly attack does it for the win. Come on. And that counterattack does not work with me. And well, another super effective move. And that missed. Okay, so for me... I'm kind of wondering, is a Fly a special or physical attack? I kind of want to know that too. Dizzy Punch does not work. Fly misses. And, well, let's go right ahead and do another Fly. Because we do not want to get hit by a counter right here. And, well, Fly Attack misses again. Good gravy. Oh, Jeebus. Okay. That right there hits us pretty hard. It's a critical hit. And Double Team does it again. Good God. And there we go. Fly attack does it for the win. And Hurricane grows to level 28. What extraordinary. Yes, it is extraordinary. I guess it's the best of, uh, to have multiple strategies. It really is. Okay, so off screen, bought myself some more super potions, a few repels or revives. And, well, what's next? I guess we're gonna have to go with Ultra Psycho right here. Now I know I can evolve him right now if I wanted to. Let's see. Uh, I don't have that item. I actually put it in the PC, but kind of wait on. I uh, kind of want to wait on that. So let's see what this guy's all about. Who's this? A trainer trespassing in my gym? You want to face me? And win a fist the badge? Don't you? Well, my fighting type Pokemon are unbeatable. So forget it. I love this song. Here we go, guys. Another gym battle against Koji or you know Koga and this guy is gonna be coming out with some fighting type Pokemon this is a first and well let's go right ahead and just destroy him with a, a psychic a Psy beam attack and that right there hits him hard say goodbye Machoke oh yes oh and he's coming out with a polyrath okay so let's go straight out with Sunny our good old buddy Sunny and this guy right here is at level 37 Oh yeah, so we're going to be playing some hardball right here. So we're going to leech seed him, we're going to poison him, we're going to do everything to him. And well, no biggie right here because, well, you're going to get seeded, man. You just got seeded. Alright, let's go right ahead and use an awakening right here. Do we have an awakening? Good gravy, we don't, but we do have a full heal. And there we go, it's returned back to health and good! Ah, freaking A. Alright. I'm gonna have to use the speed button for this one because, uh, yeah. Speed button, speed button, speed button, speed button. Come on! How are you still asleep? Good God! Okay. All right. So this is a uh, this is a uh, this is annoying right here. So let's go with a side beam. And uh, that takes care of that polyrath. Okay. So I just yeah. Forget strategy, we're gonna destroy everybody. And this guy has a Heracross, so let's go straight to Master right here. Look at this, Heracross. Wow, I want one. So many Pokemon that I want, but I don't know where to get. So there we go, Flamethrower for the win. Eat it. Oh yeah. And well, he's coming out with a Machamp. This right here is a scary Pokemon. Because, uh, look at that, it has four arms, and it is super powerful when it comes to its attack. And it's at level 41, so, yeah. We, yeah, we are taking on a Pokemon right here, and look at that, it survived. So it's coming out with its focus energy. Time to eat it. Fasai Beam. For the win. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Ultra Psycho grows to level 33. And Koji has been defeated, and yes, our, proven our worth. Here's the Fist Badge, and well, now that you have the Fist Badge, you can use Surf outside of a battle. Take this TM I found as a gift to you, and here we have the TM01, and this one is Dynamic Punch. It can miss, but it can confuse a Pokemon foe, and well, look at that. Okay, alrighty, so... Big pimpin' right here, getting some more points, getting some more badges and all that stuff. Okay, so that makes five badges, I would like to say, right? Five badges. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at the badges right here. Yeah, buddy, 
five badges in all. So now we got a, we got three more we got three more gym leaders to go. Don't know who the final one may be, but you know what? This is actually a good stopping point right here, guys. In the next episode, we are going to be going to the next town, city, or whatever place we have to go to. Again, first time playing this game, so yeah. Do not know. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.